Hey, it's Noel Christopher, Renner's Warehouse. Doing another video, I'm trying to do more of these. They seem to work really well. It's really the video that I did on Sunday is still on my mind about economic narratives. Robert Schiller happened to write this book, uh, his most recent book, which I've read excerpts out of, which I, I actually enjoy and I don't always agree with what Robert Schiller has to say. He's really trying to push back on the narrative that we're going into a recession. The Fed just recently, New York Fed came out with a survey. I haven't read the entire survey. In general, it's saying that consumers are kind of pulling back uh, on moving. Less people are saying they're going to move. Now, I haven't looked deep into the numbers. I'll post something on here um, on the video. I always take that with a little bit of grain of salt because there could be a lot of reasons that people aren't moving. They could be in a stable situation and they don't need to move. Just because people aren't moving doesn't mean that uh, we're going into a recession. The fact is, is that you get this narrative that's pushed out there, the narrative that we're going into a recession, and that narrative can actually move markets. He even writes a little bit deeper about how viral videos or stories can lead narratives as well. I just wanna caution everybody about that narrative because I get this question all the time from investors. I get people from all over the country that will ask me, what are they gonna do if there's a recession? my opinion what i tell people is sharpen your pencil you need to be prepared for a recession through acquiring real estate there are a ton of um, professional investors that are out there buying now in the market in its current state and, and if we're supposedly going into some kind of a recession or there's a housing bubble or all these different things and we're at the top of the market why would they be buying well because the numbers work I think that there's some things you can do to hedge your bets. You know, when you're underwriting a property, don't be pushing the rents as much as you have been the last five years. You look back historically the last five years and rents have gone up a certain amount in your market. Maybe you don't push the rents as much. If you can make the deal work today, it's gonna probably work tomorrow. Something to think about when you're, when you're investing and listening to all of the news media and everything that's coming at you about a recession, maybe there isn't one coming maybe there is maybe it doesn't matter in what you're doing in your investment strategy it's really hard because these economic narratives can actually move the market be careful listen to a lot of the other economists that are talking about how they don't think there's going to be a recession they think the housing is going to stay strong they think at some point there will be a recession just inev inevitable just because we've been in a, such a long uptick in the market doesn't mean that we just have to have one now gonna happen when it happens and hopefully the trade war will get that figured out and the economy can go back to being um, even stronger some some general thoughts that I wanted to put out there thanks